All right, we're at the desk with a total dreamboat, Darcy Carton, and it's time for Two Truths and a Lie. Darcy, we've got a few categories today, and you're going to give us three spicy facts, and we have to figure out and guess which is the lie. And if we're right, then you have to give us some more scoop. Ooh, okay. I like that. And if we're wrong, Ross and I have to share a spicy true fact about ourselves. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Spicy. Well, it sounds like win-win. I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round one, two truths and a lie about your career. Okay. I was voted the actress with hottest on-screen kiss roster with a list of Justin Long, oh. Manny Jacinto, Kristen Bell, Abby Jacobson, Lenny Kravitz. We're gonna say that sounds true -ish. Okay. The most Jennifer Coolidge thing that Jennifer Coolidge did was she tried to take a photo using the iTunes app of her phone. Yeah, that sounds true-ish. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna lock in on yeah. that. My first job was a swim teacher. I, I mean, you do look sporty. Yeah. Thank you. The outfit is nautical. <laughs> okay, okay, we're torn on this one, but okay. we're gonna say skeptical of okay. that, okay? Okay. All right. The lie is, that I was voted voted the actress with the hottest on screen this month. Oh, but this is a tricky one. But we, you've been with Kristen exactly. Bell and Abby Jacobs. All of it. Everyone I just named, but no one's given me a damn award for it. Oh, now that's a shame. Well, they should. Thank you. And we can do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with Coolidge. She is, you know, she has like this persona. She is really smart and cool and with it and like ahead of the joke, yes. but she's just really bad at like technology. Yeah. So I watched her like try to take a picture of the moon and she kept like trying to, she was like swiping in and out of her iTunes. <laughs> okay, so that is true. Yeah, All that's right. True. Yeah. We gotta get Jennifer Coolidge here on the Are you show. Yes. Yes. I laid that on the track. Okay, yes. make that happen. Um, and I was a swim teacher. You were a swim yeah. teacher. I knew it. Yeah. So, okay, so what do we do, fight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we throw down. Well, we got it wrong. We have to share a spicy true fact. Okay, go. What's a spicy true fact about you? I think I've told this story before, but one time I had had some drinks, and uh, I walked into a bar, and my uh, fellow co-star, Hugh Grant, was in there. And for whatever reason, I just grabbed him and started kissing him, like full-on kissing. Yes. yes! Did he Did he kiss back? I will, I will do Hugh. Okay. <laughs> And then I just was like, bye. <laughs> That's so hot, God, Drew Barrymore. That is so hot. I'm wow. that old alcohol. What about you, Rossi? Well, I think I need to drink more is what I need to do and kiss Hugh Grant. Yeah, that yeah. sounds fun. Um, do I have a, a, like a spicy one? Oh, I mean, I, um, I was dating Amy um, Ortega in seventh grade and I broke up her to date Amy Taylor. It wow. was a big, yeah. And then we, we kissed Ooh. at Aladdin. Yeah, okay. That was a big one. Wow. We were spray painted in an ex-boyfriend's car in the heat of anger. <laughs> what? <laughs> rolled off your tongue way too easy. Too easily? Well, because I did it when I was younger. Oh. You're giving these away for free. What? <laughs> and now I'm skeptical of this one. <laughs> Round two. Yeah. Shall we? Yes. Okay. I first initially attracted my husband with a very loud burp. Well, I hope that's true. Me too. I, okay, I'm only being true-ish on okay. this. My personal slash aspirational flirting style is most like my character, Greta Gill from League of Their Own. Okay. I'm leaning skeptical on Yeah, because also I know your character and how you play her in that, yeah. but it meant maybe, okay, yeah. What's okay. the third one? My favorite genre is romantic comedy. Oh. I think the middle one about your character on League of Their Own is the is the lie. What do you think? Yeah, because you're kind of like tough and like cool and mm. hard to get mm. in League of Their Own, as far as I like, I yeah, feel. Yeah, but in real life, are you? Okay, what's the lie? The lie is that my favorite genre is romantic comedy. Oh, but this again See, is we didn't like, want that to I be know, true. I know, I know, I know. But this is the thing. This is a little bit again of a of a, of a trickster because when a romantic comedy is good, it is like one of my favorite movies is Wedding Singer. Babe. Oh, the Wedding Singer. Hello. It's one of the best you movies. Guys. Of all time. Like, thank you. Part of it is like like not to shotgun wedding it, but Josh and J Lo have such great chemistry. Like the chemistry between the two leads is what it's all about for me. And I, I have agree. To say, you are the queen of chemistry. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So thank you. Always, always and Adam and I have never dated in real life. We have a very platonic relationship. We always have. We always will. Yeah. Like 
that, but I'm so in love with who exactly. he is as a human being and his talent and his heart and humanity that it's easy to pretend I'm in love with him I'm, that I'm, way. I feel like the same would be said about you because all of your co-stars have goo goo gaga eyes for you. You, it's just like you just when you're watching romantic comedy and you're like they don't even like each other. That's then I want to turn it off. Yeah, that's when it's, it's like a little it. asexual yeah. too. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, play silly. But you're right. Josh and J Lo are both so hot. How I'm could sure they are. not be attracted yeah. to each yeah. other? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Darcy Carden. Don't forget to stream Shark and Wait.